Good morning. I hope you had a good weekend. I had some great sales this weekend. I sold 11 things. So I have a lot of work to do this morning. I have 11 items. They're all different kinds of things. And um, stay tuned to find out what I think drove these sales. And so I'll talk more about that later on. And it's going to be quick because I only have like 50% battery. So watch to the end. And if you enjoy the video or get some value out of it, please smash the thumbs up and um, subscribe and do all those great things so that I can keep giving you more videos. So um, the first thing here is this little dog piggy bank. And this sold uh, for $10.80 and with shipping 2707 uh, shipping and taxes and it is going to Connecticut so if this is for somebody in Connecticut and if it happens to be a holiday present or a Christmas present Merry Christmas and it's really cute so that's this and I'm gonna ship it in this box um, it was just kind of like just the right dimensions and I have a little bit of craft paper in here to keep it from bouncing around so I will sit this over here. It's super, super crowded in here. Um, the next thing is this um, vintage Levi's jean jacket. It's a men's jean jacket, um, size 2X, uh, no, size 3X. And um, but anyway, so it's nice. It has a little bit of a, like a stone wash look to it. And so this is going to go in a clear bag and I have these little warning stickers when I use really large bags or any bag that I use on something that maybe a child would be getting. Um, I, I try to do it on all of them, but once in a while, say it's a pair of earrings or something, it's a little bitty bag, then I probably skip the sticker, but I try to do, do my part on that. So that'll just go in an eBay bag. And this sold for $35.10 uh, with shipping for a total of $48.48 and it's going to Louisiana. And so I will find a spot to sit it down somewhere. Um, there's tons of inventory around me. I washed like four big batches of glassware and been photographing that so there's some Fenton in that so stay tuned for more videos on that um, Baltimore Ravens so this um, that jean jacket I got at a yard sale for I think two dollars and the other item was the little dog and I got that for a dollar at a yard sale brand new in box I got this Baltimore Ravens like just a thin tapestry wall um, banner and it it does have some little clips in it to help you hang it and this sold for $12.60 plus ship um, so I'm just gonna put that in a little bag and put that over here in my pile we're just gonna zoom right through them so you can see that some things are practical things some things are holiday related other things are like who who would want that but you never know so list it anyway if if you find it um the next thing are these adorable little peter rabbit like bait they're actually like baby baby toys and um, they have a little rattle in them so this is Mopsy. She says Mopsy, and they're from 2000 or 2000, 2001, and they still have the little tags on them. And here's Peter, cute little Peter, and they're so soft. So that's in a little bag. I got a little warning sign on there, um, sticker. I'll put thank you cards with everything. And so this is going priority mail they they wanted it priority mail um so i'll probably be shipping it in this uh flat rate envelope um but i'll check it out and see what my options are before i send it out the door so that sold to somebody in kansas city for 32.40 and with shipping and tax 40 dollars and 42 cents um the ravens banner is going to california 
and I think I told you that the jacket's going to Louisiana. Then what do I have next? Oh, an item you just wouldn't know would sell, right? What do I do with it? Uh, oh, it's over here. I hope you ordered plenty of priority boxes because you're going to start zipping through them with these holiday sales, right? So I, I stocked up on them. This is just a clear casserole square uh, lid to like corning ware. And um, each one of these lids, sometimes you really got to use like a magnifying glass and a bright light to find the little tiny raised um, or etched in lid number so you can figure out which lid it is. They can be a really slow seller, but if you stack them all together, they don't take up hardly any space. And it's just glass, so you could store it anywhere. Um, it doesn't have to be inside your home where it's air conditioned. It could be in another um, outbuilding that you might have, and nothing's gonna happen to it. The weather, the moisture, nothing's gonna hurt this lid. So. This lid sold for $13.50. It's also going to California and um, with taxes and shipping is $32.93. And I, again, like I said, I think there is a couple of things that I've done that have driven my sales. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. So that still left a little bit of space. So I have some craft paper that I'm going to lift it up a little bit, put a little in the bottom, a little in the top, so it won't um, wobble around in there. And so that's that one. And then what's next on the list? Um, I had two of these. This is the last LA Kings um, Zamboni gravy boat. So you know, like the machine that they resurfaced the, the hockey court and um, so this is cool, little gravy boat. I had them listed through um, last fall and winter and neither one of them sold. And so why do I think these sold? I sold the other one just, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And I looked again at my pricing and the pricing had changed a little bit. So I updated my pricing and I only paid a couple dollars for it at like a salvage kind of store. And that was the same store that I got those really cool um, Nickelodeon cookie jars. And I had only bought two and they sold like in less than 15 minutes. If you see Nickelodeon related cookie jars, just buy them. That's what I, that's what I would do. If I find any, I'm going to just buy them. But these were new in box. The other ones, I think I sold them. And it was a little bit smaller. And they were, this is gravy, but the other one was cookie jars and um, a little bit smaller than this type of box. And it sold for like $65 and $75 plus shipping. And like I said, both were gone in 15 minutes from listing. So I wish I had listed them as soon as I bought them because I would have gone back and bought every single one they had. But I didn't know. I didn't even know what the little character was called. I couldn't find any comps at the store, so I just took two on that item. But so that just this item reminded me of that. I bought them both at the same time. So now all four of these boxed glass type collectible things are gone. This one um, sold for twenty dollars and seventy cents plus shipping and taxes, going to California for a total of thirty six ninety two. And of course, we're in Texas, so. You know, I'm not, a lot of people who are in the California area sell a lot because they're, the population is very dense and the shipping would be um, a lot less because of the distance. Or if you're in uh, New York, a lot of dense population. And if you're near there or one of the other smaller states around there and Florida as well. So being in Texas, there's not that many, um, like even here, I mean, it's quite a ways um, just to go like for the coast or something like that. Um, it's uh, quite a bit of miles. So it still costs a little bit even within state unless you're here in the area. And um, so, but so I get a lot of California, I get some New York 
and then I get a little bit of everybody else. So this already has foam inside protecting the gravy boat. So I'm gonna put it in a shoe box and put a little bit of craft paper to keep it from sliding back and forth. So that will take care of that one. The next thing is just a little item, but it's a Garfield ornament. I don't know if there's a lot of glare from the plastic, but um, he's really cute, new in the box. And so Garfield is going, I didn't put where he was going. I don't know. Anyway, this is being shipped out first class, sold for $9.90 and plus shipping and taxes was $19.32. Um, so I have a little box that that will fit. Now, the item that was odd is this wine decanter dispenser. And I've already, I'll just take it out of here. It was kind of tricky figuring out which way this bubble was going to go. But so this, it was kind of dirty when we found it. We found it actually in an alley. Um, somebody was throwing it out. And so there are other ones available um, like this. Not very many, not very often. But when this was originally made it had like a metal coil type stand and um, a topper here so you put the wine inside and you bring the glass to it and when it pushes up the nozzle then the wine comes out and then you let go the wine um, stops and so this um, the spring works in here and so it's just beautiful. You don't have to put wine in it. You could build a display. I've seen them displayed in like a wooden square box with a, has like a little hole here for it to hang inside the box on a wall and have a light on it or a light in the box. And so, yeah, we paid nothing for this. And this is going to Fort Worth. Um, so it's, uh, let's see. $27 and with shipping and taxes $53.91 so that's gonna go out um, with this so it's, I put some small bubble on it then some bigger bubble and some craft paper as well to fill the void spaces uh, I sold another cast iron you know I sell a lot of cast iron it's been a while but I sold this Wagner Ware um, Dutch oven and I conditioned them so it has a nice coating on it. And um, so it's made in USA. It actually has the instructions on the bottom for how to care for the pot. And they're really heavy. And it has a lid to it and so yes, this one has a glass lid. Um, there are other models or other brands that are older than this pan um, that would have an iron lid. Um, and I think some have other types of metal lids to them, but you will see other listings of the very same pot with a glass lid. And there are, um, these were distributed in different productions. So some have, this smooth lid and others have um, a different design right here um, but you'll see them like new in box and you'll see that the picture on the box shows it with the glass lid so I got this at a yard sale and I paid 50 cents for this item um, yep 50 cents for this pot and uh, of course you have to put a lot of love into them to make them back to being beautiful. And so this Wagner Ware sold for $64.50 with shipping um, and it's going to in Texas a total of $95.31. And so that's great. That goes in this box here with some bubble and I have this uh, foam sleeve for the lid. And then I'll secure the lid like I put the lid in the foam, the lid upside down in the pot, and then I will bubble it more so just so that I can secure the lid to the pot so that they don't separate from each other in the box. And then again, fill any voids top and bottom 
with some craft paper. Um, this item, is this one next on my list? Uh, no, but that's okay. Um, so this is a Jimmy, Disney, Winnie the Pooh, um, Eeyore, and Tigger. And it plays music and they dance and bebop around. There's a little button here that you press. And so their heads go back and forth and they're just having a good time. So it still has the tags. I wouldn't have got it if the tags had been cut off, but it's uh, battery operated and it, it works great. So this little guy, he is going um, to Missouri and it sold for $39.60 plus shipping. So the shipping on this uh, with all in shipping and taxes, it's a total of $72.60 for the whole purchase. And I have this box that just came in this weekend, uh, an Amazon box, and it's going to fit just right in there. It has a nice stiff top and stiffer sides than, like say, the, the thinner priority box. So that's going to go in there. I'll put it in a bag with a sticker for the choking warning. And then I have this Thomas Kincaid puzzle. It's new, never been opened. Um, a beautiful cottage. And this sold, uh, it's going to Illinois, and it sold for $14.40 plus shipping, so $28.09. So that's that. And then it's just going to go in this box and with some craft paper. I've kind of got it stuffed in there already. And so that's that. I have sold something every day for the last 10 days. And so why do I think that has happened? Um, and yes, it's that time of year where we get more business. You know, some of these items like the lid, you know, or that wine dispenser, um, you know, I mean the cast iron pot, that could be a gift. Uh, I'm pretty sure that could easily be a gift, but it's just a variety of things. You know, they use jean jacket and the penny bank and, and there's some items that are gifts, but some that are not. And all of these listings, did I list the cast iron pot I listed in September? Um, the other items have been listed a good while, you know, since last year, like last fall, uh, maybe this spring. So these are not something that I just listed. They've been out for a while. So what I did was with all of my active listings, I sorted by dollar amount and then I selected everything and there's some buttons at the top and instead of edit, there's another choice there for other things that you can do. So if you go into that menu, you'll see pr um, promote. So this is different than your um, manager promotions. So this is where you can do promoted items. And so if you select everything and go to promote, and then when that comes up, there's a few bubbles. So I select the bubble that lets me tell it that I want to do um, a certain percentage of the recommended. So it'll, decide that the recommended some items are like 3.7 percent other items are five six seven eight nine percent um, I don't want to pay all the way up into those numbers and I don't want to have to figure out okay this one I can do this this one I can do that so you can tell it to do more than the recommended I'm not sure who would want to do that um, but you can also say less so if you do a minus, like what I did was I did a minus half of a percent from their recommended number, as well as click on the little option to limit the maximum amount so that no promoted item would have more than a 5% fee. So with that said, the dog piggy ba penny bank was 10% uh, off and a promoted item. The jacket was 10% off and a promoted item. The Ravens banner was 10% only, no promotion. And because the, the items that were about $12, $13 or less, I did not do any um, additional eBay fee promoted, promoted item uh, feature on those. So that was just the 10% off. The Peter Rabbit um, 
that's going to Kansas City. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that's a, that was 3240 and that was 10% off. It wasn't promoted um, or what they clicked on did not, um, was not associated with the promoted where eBay tries to get it higher in the list or in front of somebody. Um, the lid was 10% and promoted. So after the 10%, it was 1350. Um, the LA Kings gravy boat was not promoted or 10% off. It was just regular price. Uh, the Garfield was 10% and promoted. You see the pattern here? The wine dispenser um, was 10% no promotion. The Wagner Dutch oven was 10% no promotion. And the puzzle was 10%. And the Winnie the Pooh uh, with all your little guys doing their Christmas uh, sliding down the snowy hill or something, they were 10% and promoted. So I had 11 things that sold this weekend. I've had something sell every day for the last 10 days. So did I lose some of my profit in that, say, 25 to 5% promotion on some items? Uh, maybe would they have sold without it maybe maybe not you know so I'm okay with it I had room for the promoted fee and room for the discount and so the combination of the advertising and the discounted rates I guess met met what the customer was looking for so we're matched up and they're gonna get these great items and I'm gonna make some profit so let me show you the um, Fenton, just two Fenton items out of all this glass that I got over here. So I'm going to be listing this soon. And it's, uh, I believe this color is called Cranberry. So that one. And this one also called cranberry and these handles they are like cut in top and bottom on each side so that's easily could break but yeah they're just really pretty so I'm gonna list those um, but yeah I just there's so much uh, stuff that I washed um, like this I not even sure how I'm going to list this, but this is like from a 1930s, I believe, um, hanging light fixture. So the metal fixture was destroyed. And these tips are very pointy, um, but I've washed it up. Um, but this should be very rare. And you would think that those uh, eight older light fixtures they are hard to find the globes to so hopefully this will sell whenever I get it listed so that was everything that I sold this weekend I hope your sales are great and just stay busy keep listing um, I have so much inventory I don't think I'm gonna be sourcing anything be super picky um, I did go to an estate sale this weekend I didn't buy a thing it was expensive um, expensive 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 and I didn't really see anything that okay the next day it's gonna be this amount off do I want to come back I didn't see anything I wanted to come back for so they had a lot of great stuff but the price even if you were to take it all the way down to 75% off was still very expensive and not something I want to take a chance on and I'll see you next time thanks bye <music>